Well, the Biden administration is facing crisis after crisis. The high influx of people illegally attempting to cross our southern border is not slowing down as the country welcomes in thousands of Afghan refugees. Let's bring in former acting CBP commissioner and K Heritage Foundation visiting fellow Mark Morgan. Mark, always great to have you. So, Mark, how are we vetting special immigrant visas and refugees? Yeah, look, this is the question. Right now, we, we can be some, seeing something that I don't think we've seen in, in, in our lifetimes that a president within the first seven months has created two catastrophic disasters, one obviously on our southern border and now with the exit uh, with respect to Afghanistan. And look, this is something that we started looking at immediately. Look, we're having challenges on the southwest border properly vetting people before they're released into the interior United States. And now we have this an, uh, issue in Afghanistan. Look, we also know that the Taliban has taken control of a very sophisticated biometric system that the U.S. government actually helped uh, the Afghans build. That's going to make it difficult. Look, we have SIVs, the special immigrant visa, that are designed specifically for those that helped our American troops over there. But look, that system is not foolproof. In the first three months of this year alone, they found that 84% of those that applied were actually denied because of a, a series of issues. We cannot replace our compassion and, and, and forego and abandon an extensive and exhausting vetting procedure. We shouldn't let a single Afghan in this country until they've been fully vetted. We're taking a bad, you know, we're taking a risk here of potentially importing terrorists into this country. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people are concerned about, because a lot of times, you know, as we hear, they're rushing, right? So the Biden administration, they're rushing to approve visas for these refugees. And if they're rushing, how can this be a thorough process? As you mentioned, we potentially could have terrorists coming over the border. You're, you're absolutely correct. Look, I've already provided some information that, that, you know, Afghans have already reached the U.S. and that one of the first plane loads, there were significant issues with the manifest. Look, from my experience of acting commissioner, what that means is there were individuals on that plane that they could not properly identify and they had not been properly vetted. My concern is just like the Southwest border is to, to, to score political points, to address political optics, they're going to start releasing people as fast as they can so then they can have some really good photo ops about all the Afghans that they've uh, provided uh, uh, refugee status to. And look, that's the other issue. It's not just about those Afghans that assisted U.S. troops. Obviously, we've got to honor that. But again, we have to, we, we can't abandon the vetting process. But then what about the, the, the general Afghan, the general uh, refugees that don't qualify for uh, SIV status, but still want to be allowed in this country? My concern is right now is we're going to allow tens of thousands, if not more than 100,000, just come to the United States. This is not a United States resettlement issue, and it shouldn't be. This is a global issue. Where's the UAE? There are so many threats right now that I'm concerned about. And the Border Patrol already is so overwhelmed with what's happening. Yeah, that, that's absolutely correct. And look, these two things are, are, are not mutually exclusive. They are interconnected. These two things combined, I mean, they impact every aspect of our public health, our public safety, and our national security. Right now, our border is the most open they've been in, in, in our lifetime. You know, the outgoing chief of border patrol that was removed by Secretary Mayorkas because he wouldn't be his puppet, I spoke to his troops when, 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 before he left, saying, hey, reminding people that we have a national security threat at, at our southern border. They've apprehended 14 individuals on the FBI's terrorist screening database. And the Pentagon, just hours after Afghan, uh, uh, Afghanistan fell to, to the Taliban, said that they expect that Afghans, Afghanistan will once again become a hot, uh, hot spot for, for terrorist operations. This wow. is a real threat. Yeah, very, very scary. Congressman Kevin McCarthy, he tweeted out, President Biden's Afghanistan crisis is so bad that it's actually making the border crisis even worse. He's sending border agents overseas and away from the border process. Afghan refugees, he's putting America last. And we just kind of talked about that. But what do you make of Congressman McCarthy's tweet? He's spot on. I mean, I'm glad you showed that. Look, we already know because of this administration's open border policies on our southern border, 40, 50 percent of border patrol resources are pulled off the line in July to process 212,000, the second highest monthly total in history, leaving large areas of our borders wide open. And, and, and look, the American people have to understand now Af Afghanistan once again is going to be a terrorist hotspot. The, the Taliban, uh, Al Qaeda, ISIS, their uh, their commitment is unwavering to continue to do America harm, and they're going to continue to look for vulnerabilities to exploit. And right now, one of the largest vulnerabilities we have because of this administration 
is our southwest border. It's a real threat that we have to take serious. Yeah, absolutely. And it doesn't seem that the administration is certainly taking it seriously at all. All right. Always great to have you, Mark Morgan. Thank you so much for your insight. Thank you. Of course. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.